we have learned about addition, about subtraction. Okay, right now we will learn the third mathematical process which is multiplication. And what I am showing to you right now is the famous multiplication table that usually usually students will remember or memorize. Okay. Um, um, maybe maybe some of you might have question, teacher, what does it mean by multiply, multiplication, or times? Okay, right now we are going to discuss about that definition and also demonstrating how multiplication works, okay? Multiply synonymous with times. Here, times is not referring to clock, okay? Times referring to like how many times, uh, like uh, two times or like three times, uh, four times, five times or twelve times, okay? And multiply also is related to when you, uh, eh, not times, when you add the same same number okay you add the same number for for given how many times okay you might not be able to understand this but okay i will illust illustrate to you how does this two looks like okay all right just now i told you that the definition is add the same number okay add the same number here i put four plus four plus four so they um like they are the same numbers like four 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 equals to twelve now uh, demonstrate how does four plus four plus four looks like okay i will demonstrate it using okay four one two three four four one two three four four one two three four so four plus four eight 8 plus 4, 12. So, 4 plus 4, 4 plus 4 is 12. Now, now we're done with the second definition, which is add the same number, multiply. So, 4 sweets multiply with what? 1, 2, 3. Because there are 3 groups here. 1 group. Uh, group number 2, group number 3. So, 4 plus 4 plus 4 equals to 12 is also equals to um, 3 times 4. Okay, where do you get the number 3? 3 referring, is referring to the groups. Group number 1, group number 2, group number 3. 1, 2, 3. So, 3. And 4. What is the number 4 referring to? 4 refer is referring to the to the quantity of the sweets. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 3 times 4 sweets. One group has 4 sweets. If 3 groups, how many sweets? 3 groups, 1, 2, 3, equals to 12 sweets. So, that's how multiplication works. i give you uh, another example. Okay, question number 2. 2 times 8. What is the answer? Okay, 2 is referring to the group. Okay, just now we use the group as like one piece of, uh, one, one, one sheet of paper. Okay, this one represents the group. And then, times what? Quantity. Just now we use what kind of object for quantity? We use sweets. Okay, now group. How many groups are there? 2. We put Two groups. Group number one. Group number two. So one, two, two. Quantity eight means each group has eight sweets. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now the second group also needs to have 8. 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so 2 groups, 1, 2, times 8 sweets. 8, 8. What is the answer? Okay, to know the answer, you need to count the quantity. 
the quantity in all of the groups okay how many streets in all of the groups so it is like 8 plus 8 okay 8 plus 8 now 8 in the head 8 on the finger after 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 so 8 plus 8 is equal to 16 Okay, so the answer is 16. Okay, so 2 times 8 is equals to 16. Two groups containing the same number of sweets, 8 equals to 16. Okay, okay, the third example, let's use. I just realized that I made spelling error here. Quantity, not quantity. Okay, sorry, spelling error. Q U A N T I T Y Quantity That's how you spell quantity Sorry Alright, for the second example We're going to use this pack of cookies well, This time This pack of cookies will represent The group Okay One pack, one group So, group one Group two Group, group 3 ok alright in one group how many pieces of cookies inside ok let's read ok here you might not be able to see this but it states here that uh, one pack of one pack of this contains 7 pieces of cookies ok so let's open this up is it true that it has 7 pieces of cookie? Wait. Oh, it's broken. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, each group or pack has 7 cookies. Okay, each pack has 7 cookies cookies and we are using three packs or three groups group number one group number two group number three so seven cookies plus seven cookies plus seven cookies what is the answer the answer is 21 7 plus 7 14 14 plus 7 21 so the equation will be looking like this okay seven plus seven plus 7 is equal is equal to 21 okay now uh, adding the same number what is the multiplication uh, equation here okay the multiplication equation here is like this okay 3 remember i told you just now what does 3 represents 3 represents the group Group number 1, group number 2, group number 3. How many groups are there? 1, 2, 3. So, 3. 3. And 7. What does 7 refers to? 7 refers to the quantity inside of, the, of each group. For example, this one group, the quantity of the objects inside the, this, this group is 7. 7 cookies. So, 7 Seven, seven. So you pick on you choose on uh, you, you write only one seven. Okay, the quantity of the object per group in one group only. So three groups times seven cookies equals to twenty one. Okay, or you can also three. Where do you get three? One, two, three, three, seven. Where do you get seven? Seven. Yeah. So three times seven equals to twenty one. You have learned the definition and also the examples of multiplication or times or multiply. I hope you understand. If you don't understand, you can ask your parents to post your question inside the WhatsApp group. And right now, it's time for us to do some practice in the workbook. I want you to open up your workbook, Math 1B, this chapter. Okay, multiplication. Practice 1, adding the same number, page 71. Okay, page 71. Here it is, page 71. Okay, chapter 14, 
multiplication. Practice one, adding the same number. Instruction, count the number of groups. Okay, groups. Then, count the number of bugs in each group. Number of bugs. This is the group. This is the quantity of objects in one group. Okay, example. How many groups here? Okay, this one. This one is group number one. This one is group number two. Okay, now in each group, how many bugs? One, two, three. One, two, three. So, three. Three plus three equals to six. Three plus three equals to six. So, two trees equals to six. Two trees means that two means the group. Okay, how many groups? One group, two groups. So, two. Trees. What does three refers to? Again, three refers to the quantity of objects in one group. One, two, three. So, three. So, two groups containing three objects is equal to six. Alright. Okay, let's do the first practice together. Okay. Again, first step you need to do is number of the groups. Okay, how many groups are there? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, five groups. So, here it says five. And here, one, two, three, four, five. Five groups. Okay, one group, how many bucks? One, two. Okay, so two. Two plus two plus two plus two plus two. Two plus two plus two plus two plus two is equal to ten. Okay, so five twos is equal to ten. Is equal to 10. Okay. 5 is the groups. 2 is the objects inside the group. Each group. So, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 2, 1, 2, 2. So, 5, 2 is 10. As a, as a homework, I want you to finish this page. Page 71. Page 72. Page 73. Okay, that's it. Page 71 until page 73. Only three pages, okay? Thank you.